Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Trail Cam, and I was asked by some of my viewers to show you guys what was called the good ending. Now, in the last one, you obviously saw the bad ending, and it was, <laughs> yeah, it was a little shocking at, at the end there, but there is a good ending, and I didn't discover it until after the fact. I wasn't aware of basically how to play the game properly. I didn't understand that there is a thing in the very beginning that can help you get through the game the entire time. I also was able to complete uh, another achievement that's called Good Eyes, which basically means that you've looked at everything through the video and selected the correct answer. Now, I'm going to go through this, but for you, those of you who want to go through the game and try to complete it without any assistance, this is not for you. <laughs> now, if you want to go through it and you're stuck, let's say you're stuck at a certain point or you just keep getting fired or something like that, or you, you want to see how to get the good ending, you might want to watch this. And I will try to cover every aspect of it. That, And I also will try to give you who I believe is the killer in the game. So we're going to go ahead and get this started. All right, we are back in the game. And phone's ringing like it did last time. Hello, this is Martin Scott, the local forest ranger. You must be the veterinary inspector. As you know, we've had some people disappearing, so it's great to get some professional help from a real expert. The police haven't been much help. Oh, by the way, the instructions for the trail cams are next to the PC in the tower. Those cameras will be critical for monitoring the wildlife and anything else that might be out there. Make sure you check them regularly for any unusual activity. We're counting on you. That goes real fast, so I made sure I read that, guys, so that you could hear what it's about. But anyway, let me go, go ahead. Now, we've already got some action going on over there on the trail cam. Now, this here says Yancey County... Police Department to Ranger Martin Scott. Date June 22, 2024. Dear Ranger Scott, this letter concerns the investigation into the recent disappearances in the Appalachian Mountains. Our team has discovered blood traces and signs of struggle at several locations, but no bodies. While we suspect a large animal may be involved, we cannot rule out other causes. Due to limited personnel and resources, we must step back from further investigation. A court order requires you to hire a veterinary specialist to determine if wildlife is responsible. The specialist must also document and upload any suspicious findings using the software already installed on your office computer. Please arrange for the specialist as soon as possible. Contact us if you have any questions. Best regards, NC County Police Department. All right. Now, this is the part I really didn't get the last time. It says, read this. Technician's note. Hi, I tried my best to fix this damn bear scare device. I'm not sure what exactly broke, but it seems to work. Kind of. The charging mechanism is still busted. It discharges on its own. However, you can still use the on-off switch to manually charge it. Yeah, you have to click it a lot. But once it has enough power, a green light will appear, and it should all also activate the target area marker. Anything that steps into that area should be scared off. Apologies for the inconvenience, but honestly, I'd recommend just buying a new one. Cheers, Richard. Okay. This is what they call a bear scare device, and what it will do is it'll shine a target over here, and anything that crosses the target will get scared off, usually bears or other animals, I would imagine. Bears is mainly what you're worried about, but 
As you can see, the door's wide open. I mean, anything could climb right up those stairs. And I mean, anything could climb right up those stairs and get to you. That's going to be important, guys. That's what I'm getting here. But see, what you got to do, you got to click this. And as you notice over here, I didn't really wa realize what it was doing before. See, it's filling up the green bar. That means it's charging it. And once it's full, it'll work for a certain period of time. Maybe about a minute, minute and a half. But you can see, now there's this red lit area right here. And if you also look on here, it's slowly going to start ticking down again. It's going to be red in the uh, green bar appearing. But when something crosses this area... scares the crap out of you. <laughs> the only thing is, once it does go off, it completely discharges, so you'll have to recharge it back up. But usually what I do is, as I'm waiting around, I will keep clicking it just to make sure that it's fully charged. But there are times when you do have to go out here and you don't want to set it off. So, <clears throat> anyway, let's come over here. I'm going to go ahead and read the instructions for the trail cam. Okay, motion detected. Check camera for this alert when, and for the reason of alert. Suspicious event. I'll up, upload here to the authorities. Is the alert caused by wildlife? Identify the animal to, and upload it. There will be small pictures of each type of animal you will encounter there. False alert. Choose this if there isn't any reasons for the alert. Now that's the tricky part. Knowing whether it's suspicious or false alert. Because sometimes... It isn't a false alert. You gotta look closely, and sometimes you gotta look to make sure there aren't any really small animals. And I will show them to you if you get stuck somewhere. If there is an animal somewhere and you just can't see it, believe me, it gets tough sometimes. All right, let's go ahead and check this. This first one will be very obvious. It's a bear, <laughs> and the bear's on the left side. So we just click on the bear, uploads it to the Appalachian Forest Service. And then you exit. And you wait for it to start sensing motion again. Usually when I'm trying to kill time, I'll go ahead and try to charge this up. Kind of gives you something to do. Because there are some pauses. You heard that beep, that just means that it's activated. And then you see the light, green light there, and you see the red light there. So it's fully charged. Now, as long as you don't cross it, you won't set it off. But right here, this is a fuse that you're going to need later. And you will need it. Okay, we have motion again. Alright, so the first camera, there isn't anything. Second camera, and it does say down at the bottom whether there's motion or not, so if you're not sure, just look down there. Motion detected, so see those tusks and those eyes glowing? And that is a boar. Or a feral pig. Lots of those in the Midwest, in the Southwest. You don't have to click that thing all the time. I'm just doing that, like I said, to pass time. But it is important later on, guys. Keep that in mind. Yeah, one thing I wanted to show you here... This is, these are notes. This is what is causing disappearance, bite mark, signs of struggle. Why is there only blood, no bodies? But one of the things I wanted you guys to see is, you know I do the Bigfoot game all the time and I've done the rake. Uh, there are, in every one of those games, there's this I want to believe that was from the X-Files picture. And of course, we've got the Bigfoot right there. 
but they really want you to believe that it's an animal. Alright, let's see here. Nothing there. No motion, no motion. Motion detected. The first time I saw this one, I looked and looked and looked. Thought right here that it was a rabbit. Because it looked a little bit maybe like there might be ears or something. Reality, it went through the entire list and got myself fired. <laughs> but actually there's nothing there at all. This is a false alarm. See, usually the animal, whatever, disappears, and as you can see, it's still there. So it's always there. It's just a branch. And we wait again. Now, periodically, Ranger Scott, Ranger Smith, whatever you want to call him, will call you. Just saw your report. It's good work. They're accurate. Sometimes those smaller animals hide in plain sight. So just to be as a tip, keep looking closely. If you spot something, you're not sure what it is. It seems suspicious. Press the question mark button. If there's nothing at all. It might be just a false alarm. Just so go ahead. All right, I'll leave it to you. From what I can see, it's a calm night, so no worries. If you want to take a nap, you're very welcome to do so. Just keep an ear out if in case anything comes up. They don't give you a lot of time to read that. Now, I want you to notice that every time he talks to you, he keeps telling you, it's okay, don't worry about it. You can take a nap. You can just put your feet up and relax. A little bit too much so, especially as we get near the end. No motion, no motion, motion detected. All right. Now, if you look down here, it's starting to rain now. If you look over here, we got birds. And the rain's starting, so it's going to start getting a little bit loud in here from the rainstorm. Right now, some of them are pretty blatantly obvious as to what they are, but some of them, like I, I told you earlier, you're going to have to really look. And I will point them out for you, just in case you can't see them. Okay, no motion. No motion. Motion detected. As you can see, there's two rabbits. One right here, and one right here. I don't think there's any others, just those two. So we have rabbits. For the most part, through this game, that's what you're going to be doing. Like I said, I am going to point out everything that is supposed to be seen and let you know if there's not supposed to be anything that you need to see and if something looks suspicious I'll point that out too because some of the even the suspicious activity is really subtle alright we got activity again no motion no motion no motion no motion Motion detected. Now, the first time I did this, I got it wrong three times. <laughs> but there is something there. I thought this was a bear, possibly. But honestly, it is not, and we are going to say it's suspicious activity. It's just a shadow looming in the back. So... should get another phone call here shortly because Ranger Scott's going to keep downplaying any suspicious activity we might see. Before the phone rings, I do want to show you out here. You can walk all the way around here, but this is where the fuse box is that you're going to have to use later. But you cannot leave this town. This is pretty much your entire environment the entire game. So let's go ahead and answer Ranger Scott here. 
That was suspicious. I'm guessing it's just a bear or something. The night in the tower is getting starting to mess with your head, huh? Well, no jump into conclusions, please. And don't forget, you can take a break if you want. It's a really calm night. No stress. <laughs> that was it's okay. You don't have to work. You don't have to do your job. Just take a nap. Be present. Because I was told you had to come there. By the police. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, it takes a while to get this all the way up. And I usually kind of go a little bit beyond what it says just to make sure, but the reason is you want to keep it on as long as possible. And that will be important later. No motion. No motion. No motion. Motion detected, and I'm pretty sure you know what that is, guys. And if you don't, you need to get out a little more. That is a moose. Jeez. I do not know a moose. First, there, there are people that don't know things. <laughs> yeah, there's a big pause there. Alright. Motion detect. Motion. Aha! See? Now that, my friends, is a fox. Pretty obvious. One thing I want you guys to understand, there are a lot of ambient sounds. A lot of times you'll hear wolves howl and something sounds like it's moving around. That's just all it is. It's just ambient sound. If it's something important, you will know it. So... I don't know if you noticed, but there is a storm coming. And it should be here soon. Right over there. Things are going to get ugly here soon. Okay, another long pause. Alright, there's our friend the bear again. Yeah, at first I was thinking it was a pig until I saw, looked at his ears and they were all rounded and I didn't see any tusks. But that is our bear friend again. Yeah, the other, there's actually three endings to it. There's the good ending, the bad ending, and the one where you get fired. <laughs> and that's the ending you get a little prematurely if you don't get too many incorrect guesses on the trail cam. And I've got it a few times. Quite a few times, actually. So I'm trying to save you guys that trouble. Okay, there are going to be some pauses, and that's where things get a little a little boring, but I've cut them out of this video, so you don't have to deal with it. Alright, no motion, no motion, no motion, no motion, motion detected. Alright. Now, if I remember correctly, this is a false alarm. There's nothing here. There's no rabbits, there's no birds, and I looked and looked and looked. Nothing suspicious. I think there's at least three or four times where there's nothing there at all. I think four, maybe. Not sure. Alright, here we go again. One as long that time. Motion detected. Alright. I believe this time there is something here, but I have to...
Yep, there he is. Very hard to see. If you see where my arrow is, there is a rabbit right behind this log. And you can see his ears, him turning around, and his little glowy eyes. Very difficult to see. I missed him the first time. So... That is an actual animal. Say it disappeared after you selected it. That's another way to know for sure whether you've gotten the answer correct. Motion detected. No motion. Motion. Motion detected. All right. Now on this one, I'm trying to remember if because there's a certain point where there is a real difficult animal to see over in this area, but I don't see it. And there's another time where there's some birds in here, I believe. But I think this is yet another false alarm. Now, you hear that sound? Screams? Maybe I should check what's going on outside. Okay, that's why you don't want that thing on. Come over here, and you're gonna see off in the distance it looks like a flashlight shining around. And then a roar. And then the motion detector goes off again. But you have to go outside to trigger that, guys. You gotta interact again. When you get to one of these, you see that the flashlight has been dropped. It's shining on that. So I would definitely call this suspicious activity. Now we're going to get a call from Ranger Scott again. Yep, there he is. Promptly. And you reported a trespasser who probably scared themselves half to death out there in the dark woods, huh? Ha ha ha. A flashlight isn't that suspicious, right? But hey, that's your job, so I respect it. A scream or roar, you say? I didn't hear anything. Probably just a bear. Annoyed that this trespasser interrupted its sleep. No worries. It sounded pretty scary to me, dude. Yeah. You're no help. I think that's the point. Alright, yeah, see, it had a chance to run all the way down. It does take a while to get up, though. Let's check the motion detector again. Alright, the storm's picking up now. So, and it will keep picking up. Motion detected. And, yeah. See, right here we have a bird. So, unless you're looking right up here, you can't see it too well, but you see its silhouette and its glowing eyes. And we... Got more motion going on. Alright, so we've got the motion, the motion, the motion, the motion, motion detected. Alright. I believe on this one, there's nothing there at all. Because I looked and looked and looked for a long time to see if there were any small animals that could be hiding somewhere. Didn't see anything, and it seemed to be accurate, so. Yeah, he doesn't call back at this point. We get another motion sensitive thing pretty close, quick. Yeah, there we go. And the motion detection is going to be in the same camera. It says motion detected. Now, this is where I screwed up last time. Screwed up horribly. Right here, I don't know if you can see it, but the best I can tell is it looks like a boot with some laces going up it. So why is there a boot there when there wasn't a boot there before? It seems a little suspicious to me. Somebody messing around, you know. And the phone rings instantly. When you answer it, you get inaudible interference. Kind of makes you wonder about that, huh? Why did I get that? All right, we're going to check this again. Now, on this one's pretty straightforward. We got us a, a wolf. 
not a fox this time. And, right, there isn't as many lulls at this point, guys. You're going to be checking this often, so no motion, motion detected. And I'm looking over here because last, like I said, there's a certain time when there is an animal over here and it's very difficult to see. And this is it. There he is. You can see his pointy ears. Barely see his glowy eyes, but that, my friends, is a fox. I screwed that up the first time, too, but that is a fox there. As you can tell, he disappeared as soon as I was done. Yeah, they... You only get three achievements, but there's... De like I said, there's definitely four distinct things that are going... You want to get through. One, you won't have a choice. You'll get fired at least once if you just try on your own. <laughs> if you don't, man, you guys have some great eyes. Alright. In this one, we got us another bird. And we see birds like three times. Now we hear a bird. Now you can stay in here and you'll keep hearing that bird. I tried to stay in here as long as I could the first time. But I had to go outside. When I went outside, I didn't see anything. It's when I come back inside that something happens. This scared the crap out of me the first time. <laughs> Jesus, it still makes me jump. Yeah, a bird crashes through that window. Ends up dead right in front of you. And it was the same bird. Yeah, that's going to be your first jump scare. I don't know why he pops back over here, but... Alright, the storm's picking up even more. we got no motion here, no motion here, no motion here. Oh, there is motion here. And if I remember correctly, there is nothing here at all. Just looking to be absolutely certain, because it's been a minute since I've been back here. That was, I believe, where they had the flashlight the first time. But this is a false alarm. Part of it's the storm. Motion again. The motion. The motion. The motion. The motion. Motion detected. This is right at the tower, right down there at the bottom of the tower. You can see another little bunny rabbit. His little ears sticking up and his little glowy eyes. That one might be hard to see too. I think we see rabbits three times in this. Like I said, it's pretty active at this point. You're not going to have many lulls. Motion, motion detected. And I think this is a false alarm. Yeah. Just making sure because I am sometimes mistaken. But I'm pretty sure this is a false alarm. Because at some point you're going to have another feral pig. It's just going to keep going off and going off here. Now, this is this this should be easy, guys. What do you think that is? Well, it's certainly not a bunny rabbit. It is a deer. And two deer, actually. Okay, now the storm is going to get really ugly. Lots of lightning strikes.
Now we just lost power. Now you remember that fuse I had pointed out earlier? See if you had the bear scare device here. I don't. No, it still works. I wasn't sure if it would work when the power went out. Apparently, it just knocked the computer out. Okay, we'll go ahead and grab the fuse. Now, come out here in this lightning storm. Okay, fixed. Now here comes your next jump scare. Get ready for it. When I come around here, I see somebody. Oh, okay, that scared the crap out of me the first time. I also heard a roar. It's a little hard to tell whether it might be the thunder, but it sounded more like a roar to me. Well, somebody's definitely messing around. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to check the motion detector again. The storm's really putting up now. Motion, 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 motion. Motion detected. Now we already saw the motion detected. But this time there isn't any. Looked and looked and looked and did not see a darn thing. does get a response from our friendly ranger. Yeah, and at this point the storm, storm starts to subs subside considerably. Okay, how much did I get it up there? Not very much. It takes a while. Yeah, at this point I'm going to start keeping it up pretty high. Okay, the bear scare device is activated and fully charged. Let's see what we got out there, storms it's calming down quite a bit. Motion detected. Alright, now in this one, I believe. Yes, this is the one that I saw. It took a long time, got it wrong the first time, but there is suspicious activity here. You look in the doorway, it looks like there's somebody standing there. There's a shadow, there's a head. They keep coming in and out from the, the doorway, so that is suspicious. Yeah, I think he calls every time we get some kind of suspicious activity indicated. I'm waiting for him to call. Somebody left a piece of pie or pizza. I can't tell what that is. I think it's pizza. Yep, there he is. I told you he call. Hey, there was a power shutdown? I hear thunder hitting the power big time. Are you alright? If I were you, I wouldn't touch anything and just call it a night. But who am I to tell you what to do? I mean, nobody found something, so why should you? Yeah, he pushes too much, doesn't he? Just call it a night. Just call it a night. It's okay. Everything's good. Quit looking at the cameras. Take a nap. Just chill. I am not chilled. By this time, the first time I went through here, I was like a nervous wreck. <laughs> okay, we got a good pause here, so... I don't know why the bird has to hang out. I wish I could pick it up or something. But... We're gonna sit, sit in this place with a dead bird on the floor. Alright. Motion detected. No motion. No motion. No motion. Motion detected here. Now, I believe... I'm looking over here. Yes, here it is. Right over here. If you look really close, he's hard to see, but it is definitely a pig. That's the one I was telling you about earlier. 
That is another feral hog. Yeah, not, not all of them are that lightly obvious. <coughs> Nobody cleans up after themselves. All right, let's see. No motion, no motion, no motion, no motion. Now, is it me, or does that look a little suspicious to you? Somebody waving their hand in front of the camera? Yeah, I think that's on the suspicious side. sure we'll hear from Ranger Smith here. I call him Ranger Smith from the Yogi Bear cartoons. <laughs> I kept forgetting his name and I just said, well, no, he didn't report anything that time. All right. No motion. No motion. No motion. Motion detected. Yeah, this, there's another one in this area where it's really hard to see the animal and here it is. If you look... You can see antlers turning around, and you can see its butt and its tail. That is a deer. Very hard to see. So if you mess that up, don't <laughs> don't feel bad for yourself. I screwed it up the first time too. That thing doesn't stay lit very long, guys. Like I said, it needs to be, now especially, it's going to need to stay that way as much as possible. Motion, 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 motion detected. Yeah, the first time I looked in here, I thought that was a bear, but actually it's not. It's a wolf. It's not big enough to be a bear. Motion detected. I see there is somebody in that tent messing around. Looks like he has a light on. And you can see his silhouette. So it's suspicious activity. Okay. Now we get a call from Happy Face. Well, you're doing good. Too good. Ha ha ha. Starting to get a, make a lot of paperwork, but don't worry, the night's almost over anyway. You know what? I think I, well, I guess I have an idea. I'll talk to you in a bit. Alright, things are going to start getting a little iffy now, guys, so make sure this thing is charged. I can't remember exactly when things get hairy, but it does get hairy, and you need to get through cameras as much quick as possible. Motion, emotion, 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 motion detected, there's a bird. Right up here. So is that four times we see birds? Four times, okay. See it's still lit. So there is enough time to check the cameras and then come back out of it and keep powering it up again. Motion. Motion detected. Now this time, if I remember correctly, there is nothing here. Again, I looked and looked and looked and I never saw anything, so... Alright, our thing shut off. Like I said, it does not give you a lot of time, so you really got to keep it charged up.
big pause here. Alright, I'm going to check it out. I think this is when it happens, guys. Get through it quickly, go to the very end, and there's a dead body. Suspicious activity. we got to react quick, because if we don't... If you're wondering what that was, that was the killer. In the bear suit. In the first bad ending. The bear scare device scared him off the tire and he fell to his death. <laughs> I'm so glad that the bear scare device was active. <laughs> yep, I am too. So if you walk over here, you're going to see something glowing in the red right there. It's, you interact with this. That's a megaphone connected with an MP3 player. The display, wait a minute, shows Monster and Halloween Sounds Collection Volume 3. That's interesting. I didn't see that before. So we heard roars and things before. Okay, and then we interact with this. A trail cam passcode device. I should check it on the PC. Now, like I said, I didn't see the megaphone before. I'm going to check around here just to make sure there's anything I missed. I don't think so. What we do now, if you go through the trail cam, if you had clicked on this before, it wouldn't let you. But now that you've got that thing I've just picked up, you click on this. Look there. There's all the dead bodies. And that is, my friends, suspicious activity. Error margin 0 of 6. No errors. So, my friends, authorities are informed the killer was Ranger Scott. That's why he didn't want you messing around. Yeah, he thought he could just have the police, you know, call somebody in and they could keep telling him, ah, don't worry about it, just take a nap. And he can continue his killing spree, but I was figuring out that there was too much activity, so he was going to take me out. And instead, he's got an his butt scared to death and fell off and killed himself. There he is. Hey, he's dressed in that bear suit. <laughs> it's a heartfelt thank you to all amazing testers whose dedication, hard work, and feedback in the valuable through the development process. Blah, 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 blah. Thanks for playing Trail Cam. Okay, that, my friends was the good ending and also as you saw the error was 0 6 because they only allow you six errors before you end up failing I didn't get any so I got all the achievements so if that's gonna help you guys I hope that did this is a nice little game doesn't take very long between 30 40 minutes to complete if you go through it quickly but I enjoyed it I think it was well worth it but anyway guys as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.